Welcome to my introduction to the construction and design of fractal antennas. Now, I fully expect that the topic of fractal antennas is going to be very new to you. Um, it's, uh, it's something that can be said easily without really describing it. We've seen fractals used in art and in uh, making real-life comp uh, compositions like fern, the, the complexity of the fern fronds and how they are fractal. If this is, but however, if this still remains a mysterious topic to you, a fractal is, in the shorthand, something, a, a, a pattern, a pattern, a pattern when viewed at any scale appears to be the same pattern at that scale. In other words, if we were to focus in on my finger and look closely, it might, it, well, a fractal hand, sorry for this <laughs> finger selection, the finger selected would have a little representation of a hand whose finger on it would have a little representation of a hand and so forth on infinitum. And that's roughly how it's done. But how, what's that got to do with antennas? And antennas, um, well, we'll start with the dipole. And with the dipole, I have a, a simple graphic here. And what it does is it shows the progression of the dipole through uh, uh, fractal orders, so to speak. First order fractal would simply be bending the dipole and bending it into a V. And that V, uh, we've already discussed in other topics. It's a very old antenna design. However, that being rather ordinary, fractals do uh, allow themselves to be manipulated once again. Well, this is a second order fractal, wherein I take each of those arms from this V and bend them to create V's within this V, former larger V structure. That's uh, getting a little carried away in words where a simple illustration will suffice. Here my graphic at the top, at order zero, is my fractal design. On the, I, I've denoted uh, halves by colors here, green on the left, red on the right. This is only to show you how the folding operation goes through the progression of the orders going to the first order, or this V antenna. We're not concerned of uh, how it's oriented with respect to Earth. This is free space design. Um, it, things get complex enough uh, without adding uh, Earth uh, to the equation. The second order design is taking this element, this demi element in this case, and bending it in this fashion, and similarly the red element and bending it in this fashion. So now we have a second order fractal dipole. And we can say that we've, we're feeding it at the center, at the center, at the center. So let's go to a third order fractal which is to say we take this element and we break it and bend it. That's this port right here. We take this element, we bend it upwards in this case. We take this element, we bend it. Here we are. And we take this element and we bend it similarly. And we drive it at this point where the three is. So we've progressed from the zero state through the first and second to the third iteration. And I'm sure you can see how this is going to progress through stages four and five to the point where we're now driving this point right here. And we have this sort of triangular mesh where only certain points touch each other. There's overlaps in each of these diagrams that's hard to uh, fill in. Uh, uh, 
difference. So forgive the ambiguity. So you may ask, well, what's that's a lot of uh, manipulation of the wire, and it's hard enough to get up a flat wire, much less this with all the kinks and turns and bends. And well, this is mostly an academic uh, topic, but there are people that uh, struggle to build these, if only at the uh, well, the microwave level, where it's simple to do on a surface with uh, just copper etching and such. Uh, I'm not going to go there. I'm going to remain at uh, the HF level, and I'm going to, in later, in later discussion, bring out my designs that I've done uh, to show you when that point is excited by a source. Does it have any significance to the the, the uh, launch characteristics? Yes. Does it have any care? Uh, consideration for the radiation resistance? Yes. Is it resonant? Yes. All of these things still remain, and yet we're getting a smaller package for each uh, iteration for the same length of wire. Is that 80 meter design shrunk down to something like oh, 10 meters, hopefully, going to uh, put me on the top of the QSO uh, rag chew? Well, that's uh, <laughs> that's debatable. However, it, those questions can be answered, and I've modeled them fully through many different uh, designs of uh, fractal uh, technologies or methodologies. I'll call it that. And I'm going to show you a second graphic here to carry that forward. So this is, okay, we're going to return, we're going to, this is going to, number four is going to, well, it's kind of the base element for this design, uh, <laughs> right in here, and it's repeated again right in here. So I'm using these units right here, fourth iteration, to make fifth iteration designs that are uh, complementary, supplementary, uh, an inversion of each, or no, a anti-mirror and a mirrored version. These, these two are mirrored. Uh, and then various end-on-end -end configurations to uh, warp the symmetries. That's clearly warped from that. This is flipped. This is flipped and warped. So, and I've given them a model A, model H, model Q, model C, model C2, C3, and C4. Uh, this is a historical ad hoc naming convention that I came up uh, when revealing these uh, antenna designs and their characteristics to the amateur radio community, oh, well, uh, 1997. Yeah, so some years ago. So returning to the ham shack. So there we have a quick introduction to fractal antenna. Um, construction is as simple as bending wire. Uh, you, you get to choose the length <laughs> and thus the, the band that you're trying to uh, suit to. Discover the complexities of that. Um, also, uh, well, I discussed that the characteristics are the same that you'd find in any conventional dipole, but those are going to get moved around, heightened, and lowered uh, in curious ways. And the whole point of using a fractal antenna is it needs to be useful, and it needs to provide some uh, gain over another antenna in some form. And typically, that's in uh, volume, uh, the, uh, the, the amount of wire fitting into a volume and the efficiency. So with that, I'm going to uh, back out of here and extend my 73s to all.